Hi everyone, my name is Electric Donkey and welcome to a Game Maker tutorial. In this video we'll be doing our script move and our script grid place meeting so we'll be able to move actually now fully but obviously it won't work because we've not made our level. Um, so yeah, well, basically we're just going to be setting up for future which is quite cool. Um, a lot of what we'll be doing in the first few videos we won't actually be able to do. So our first one's going to be our script move and this is going to be script move and it takes H speed and V speed so var H speed equals arguments 0 var V speed equals arguments 1 okay so First thing we're going to do um, what, before we move is we're going to check see if we've got any horizontal collisions because if we're actually touching something we don't want to move. So if and um, we're going to do our script grid place meeting which we haven't got yet but we can actually leave this now because uh, in this video we will probably go on get onto it so we're going to check if where we want to move so we take our X position plus our um, uh, horizontal speed. So that's too many, yeah, brackets. Okay. So if it, um, if there is a place meeting, yeah. So if there's a place meeting to actually where we would end up in one full step, uh, we want to do it in little mini steps. So we'll do a while statement. There isn't a place meeting. I've spelled that wrong. At uh, x plus sine h speed. So sine, if you haven't already come across it, um, basically just returns either 1 or minus 1 or 0 if you're not going anywhere but it won't be uh, depending on um, which way in this case which way you're facing um, so basically whilst there's not a one pixel gap next to us uh, we're gonna do this so we're just gonna add uh, 1 in this case or minus 1 to our uh, uh, x otherwise if we've oh yeah and then oops afterwards we are going to set it back to uh, 0 um, obviously because if we've done this bit we don't want to then move again further down so then we're actually going to be able to move horizontally to the so we're going to just do x plus equals h speed okay now we're going to do exactly this so we can actually just copy this over and um, all we're going to do is change horizontal to vertical and horizontally to vertically and there's going to be a few uh, key um, differences here So, um, instead of it being on here, we're going to be adding to our Y, so we can just drag that over, and we're going to be adding our V speed as well, and um, here, instead of doing that, it's going to be uh, on our Y, and still with our V speed, <laughs> like that, and then uh, our V speed here, and that's going to be our Y. Uh, so, yeah, that that is basically it and that's going to be our V speed is still and that's going to be our V speed but yeah that is how we are going to move this will obviously make a lot more sense when we actually do our grid place meeting uh, which we'll do now um, so yeah uh, let's do script script <laughs> script well I can't talk today my voice is uh, slowly melting so script grid place meeting um, the thing with this um, 
uh, well, code is that it does have a small glitch. Be warned. Um, yeah, basically, um, you may have seen in the introduction, but um, for some reason, when you like jump up and jump um, like horizontally at the same time, and if it hits a corner or something, you get stuck in a block, and then you. It's not a massive glitch. I will be able to show you it soon. Um, but really, it's nothing life changing or anything. I'll be sorting it out as soon as possible, and I will um, definitely change that, uh, update it as soon as I get it. Uh, so, we're going to set our. Whoops, Catlocks has obviously decided it's going to be on today. <laughs> so, our Y, Y, Y is going to equal our uh, second argument. <laughs> Oops. Um. And then var xx is going to equal our first argument. And we're just going to swap them around quickly before Game Maker complains because we've put them in the wrong order. Okay, and now um, what we're going to do to actually check our. Um, remember. 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 What we're actually going to do to do this is um, get our position currently, remember it, and then travel to the position we want to go and see if our bounding box is touching anything. Okay, so remember our position. So we're going to have xb is equal to our, you know, x previous, yp equals our y previous, or our x but that's what it stands for and uh, we are going to um, change our position for the calcs so we're going to change it for the calculations so our x is going to change to our uh, xx and our y is going to change to our yy now comes the big tricky bit so we're going to check for an x meeting Okay, um, yeah, I, I warned you this was going to be tricky at the start, so let's give this a go. X meeting equals... Hmm. For the time being, we're just going to put object level.grid, which we haven't made yet, obviously. Um, Bbox right div cell width bbox top div cell height and this goes on for a bit that's just one of them bearing in mind we've got two for each one uh, we'll just copy this. I, can't, I really can't be bothered to do this um, several times. But instead of right, I think it's uh, left. And also, we're just going to check to see if they here equals bk. Let's just have block dirt for the time being. Later on, when we introduce more blocks. Um, let's make this full screen quickly as well. Uh, later on, when we introduce more blocks, um, we're definitely um, going to be um, using a script that actually checks through and sees if our block is a solid. But for the time being, that will work. So now we can actually just copy this over entirely. Oops, don't do that. Um, noob. I'm an utter noob. <laughs> Crying on the inside. Okay, so now we're going to change this to Y. So, Y. And this is going to be to, well, Y. And uh, this is going to be to bottom. And this is going to be to bottom. 
Okay, so uh, that's almost it. We're just going to do one last check to see if our center is actually meeting anything. So var center meeting equals object level dot grid. And this time we're going to do xx div cell width yy div cell height. By the way, guys, sorry if this is slightly longer than I have our average 10 minutes. Um, it may well be, probably will be, because um, of this long check in. Check in. Cool. Cool word that. Center meeting. Okay, so we're going to either return true or false depending on whether we're tr touching anything. So if we are, it's going to return. Blah. If we are, it's going to return true. If it's not, it's going to return false. Um, actually, before this, we need to actually move back to where we were before. So move back. X equals XP. Y equals YP. So that's going to set us back to where we were. And Y return Y meeting or X meeting or sent meeting. So if any of them are true, it's just going to set it to true. Okay, um, so uh, yeah, this is um, our screen script grid place meeting if we actually go back into our move we shouldn't have any issues anymore we can go back into our player step and we can get rid of um, this because it now will work yep there we go it all should be working in the next video we'll be doing um, making our level and we can test this all and we will have a fully working um, sandbox which we'll be able to work on uh, in a few episodes so I hope you enjoyed this video uh, I've certainly enjoyed it um, remember to like subscribe and uh, do whatever you do with these videos you know tell your mates you know whatever floats your boat um, and yeah I will talk to you later